is Chance. She fell in love with Justin. We met in the Army as men, and now we're husband and wife. People judge my relationship because I'm trans. When we met, I did identify as straight. When he decided that he was going to tell his family witchcraft was involved, they thought that I had bewitched their son. This is a comment I get a lot. Yeah, we're definitely losing World War III. The army hopping on this delusion. Too terrible. I wonder what Russia thinks. I do not care what <laughs> Russia thinks. We met in basic training in the army. Before I transitioned, I was out as gay for a while. I was not into Chance because Chance was a boy. <laughs> uh, that was not any in the cards. I was not initially attracted to him. I thought he had a really nice smell. Now I'm in love with that smell. Just through like basic conversation and just having things in common, we definitely sparked off something. You know, a little flirting here, there, comes around and then yeah, you build an attraction to somebody. <laughs> I came out as transgender to Justin probably about three months into our relationship. He had already kind of like accepted me as being gay, right? And that he had like fell in love with me as a, as a gay man. So he went from like being a straight guy to being in love with a gay man. And now I'm like, oh, I'm gonna throw this on you too. Now I'm trans. <laughs> and I was like, I'm taking this man on a roller coaster. She called me and she asked me, what if I was a girl? And I was like, Okay. <laughs> I've always seen Chance as a woman because she's always been super feminine. So it was just like, I don't think there's gonna be a lot that changes. So the reason that I decided to go public with my story is because I just wasn't seeing a lot of trans soldier visibility online. And I think that it's something that needs to be shared. And I think that it can help a lot of people. I really don't care about the judgment. Other people's opinion of me, of us, has nothing to do with us. It's not that you are trans. It's that you're weak as <laughs> You are not a warrior. She's a D1 athlete. That's all I gotta say about that one. <laughs> and this is what my tax dollars are paying for. So yes, you know, as a soldier, the military does cover my hormones. I just want people to remember I'm a taxpayer too. This one I just find to be rude. And it says, please become a statistic. What I don't think people understand is that not only is suicide a issue in the trans community, it is also an issue in the military. Just please like, I'll ask you like, don't say that to any other trans person. Don't say that to any other soldier. When he decided that he was going to tell his family, he completely identified as straight, really didn't have any interaction with the queer community, was not in that discourse. So when he told me like, yeah, I'm gonna tell them, you're just gonna be cool about it. I was like, do not, <laughs> like, I want the first thing I told him, the first thing I told him was, if you want to come out to your family, do not come out to them and also tell them that we're in a relationship because they're going to assume that I turned you that way. I did that. He did that. <laughs> um, and they were not the most accepting at first. Witchcraft was involved. <laughs> Witchcraft, apparently, yeah. apparently. Um, they thought that I had bewitched and enchanted their son, you know, and <laughs> I guess in a way I did. All right, babe, Linda's coming over today. Help me pick out something to wear. My sister Linda's coming over. I'm interested to see what she has to say. These shorts or these pants. I kind of like figured out and it came to like acceptance that I was trans while I was in basic training. It had always been something that was in the back of my mind, but you know, I was like, no, that can't be me. And I have finally got to the point where like I was comfortable with being like a gay man. And then I was like, dang, so now I have to deal with being trans, which is like, from my experience, even harder. I didn't go in expecting to transition. It was just something that I came to the conclusion of. I think that there are certain perceptions about the military, but I would say this is one of the best places to be any type of different. Everyone's coming from a different place in their life. I wouldn't say that we're outliers in the military. Everybody's an outlier in their own way. Everyone's an outlier. <laughs> That's the best part of it. So Linda's coming over today. I'm a big sister. I'm definitely interested to see what she has to say about like the family dynamic and how she sees us. I met Justin through my father, who is married to his mother. I know in the past he has only date woman. We have a few family members that is very traditional and really just see, you know, man, woman, they don't really understand. What I would like to ask Justin is if dating a trans woman strike any fear. I noticed some of the things on TikTok, people are saying some rude things. They call Chance a disgrace. 
a disgrace. Are you guys ever worried about what other people think of you? No, not really. At the end of the day, when I turn off my phone, I still have my husband, I still have my career. Um, I still have my amazing family. I still have my friends, so. And that's all that matters. How would you say the rest of your family reacted? I, I can't really like speak on everyone, but I know that there's a few family members who are more traditional. They have their own beliefs, their own personal beliefs. Do you remember that one family member who asked me if I peed standing up or sitting down? <laughs> I would rather like the family be like comfortable asking those questions and like we can look back and just laugh on them than um, them to like be weird about it and keep them to themselves. You Absolutely. Know? I know overall they have adapted to, you know, the new version of Justin. We can tell that he is happy. Anything else? Like, it seems like they have overcame a lot of things. I know there's a lot of negative um, energy out there on the subject of um, trans women in general, especially black trans women. I was interested in hearing your first initial opinions on when I introduced you to Chance. Well, my first initial opinion is she is beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I was more so happy for you and happy that you were comfortable in your own skin. That's all that mattered, right. you know? So it was kind of like coming to me with, you know, I have a new girlfriend, I have a new <laughs> wife, you know, right. coming out as I am gay. It's like, you're happy and that's all that matters regardless. Yeah, and I love being part of your family so I much. love you being a part of our family. Yeah, you're really my sister, girl. Oh, I love you. I've grown in my relationship with his family so much. I love his family, his family loves me. What I love about Chance is how solid of a person she is. She's gonna be the mother to my kid. We're gonna have a healthy black family. Justin has changed my life for the better and making me realize that I can be loved. One day we had a conversation, you know, because a lot of people will say that trans people are delusional. And he said, if you're delusional, I'll be delusional with you. To any male out there who is fearful of loving up a trans woman, then you should check yourself. I spent a lot of my life hating myself that was the majority of my childhood. That was the majority of my teenage years. I have a lot more life to live and I'm not gonna do that anymore. The army is lucky to have her, I'm lucky to have her, the world is lucky to have her. If the sun was to blow up tomorrow, we could just throw Chance up there and we'll still be good. <laughs>